welcome back to another video. So today's video is a fun and exciting one. This is one of the most favorite times of the year for me, for my family, and um, we go all out for Christmas, as you can always tell. Um, but for me, Christmas is such a deeper meaning. Obviously, you know that it's the birth of Jesus Christ. Um, we celebrate him every day, but this is the day that the world recognizes Jesus as Lord and as his birthday. And so I love Christmas, number one, for that fact. And I also love Christmas for the spirit of it all. Um, it's not about the gifts for me, for my children, yes. I believe, you know, that magical part of it is for kids. But um, the spirit of it all, you know, being around family and friends and cooking and eating just about whatever you want to eat and not have to worry about a diet. <laughs> but I also love the caroling and the music and the decorating, obviously, and the movies. Oh my goodness. I love Christmas movies. I am... I'm probably one of the craziest people, um, one of the craziest person in the world, I don't know, but I will, I would celebrate Christmas all year round if I needed to, if I could, um, but I don't want to overwhelm my family too much with it. But I love Christmas movies, especially Hallmark Christmas movies. So today, I am going to be giving you guys 20, yes. 20. Normally I would give you 10, I would give you 5, but I just could not stop. I could have given you more, but I said 20 is a good number. Um, but I'm going to give you 20 of my favorite, favorite, favorite Hallmark Christmas movies. Um, some of them were from 2017, 2016, but I absolutely love Hallmark Christmas movies. And so I am so happy that you guys are joining me today so that we can sit, chat for a bit, and um, yeah, I want you guys to interact with me in the in the um, comment section and let me know which of these uh, 20 movies are your favorite movies and are you excited about Hallmark Christmas movies? I know it started like two weeks ago, but I am super excited. I think I've watched one movie a hundred times already. <laughs> I absolutely love it and it's because I watch it and fall asleep and then wake up and watch it and fall asleep and rewind and watch it and fall asleep and restart and watch it and fall asleep. <laughs> Does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> but I love it, love it, love it. So grab yourself a hot cup of chocolate and let's get ready to get into the video. So I have my handy dandy list here. and. Um, my fake drawing that I did for daycare. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into the video. So, my first movie is um, starring one of my favorite, I mean, if not my favorite character or person, I should say, um, Candace Cameron Bure. I absolutely love her. I love her movies. I love her personality, I love her as a person, you know, she's a Christian woman and I love that, I love her values and, you know, the way that she carries herself and I just love all of her movies. So my first uh, Christmas movie that I am absolutely loving is Switched for Christmas and most, most of you probably already know this movie, it came out last year and she plays um, twins in the movie and so one of her uh, character as a twin, one is more of a soccer mom. She's a teacher, she has two kids, she's separated or divorced from her husband, and she's raising children, right? She's raising kids, doing the best that she possibly can, you know, with laundry, with dinners, with school plays, and also being a working mom. Um, and so she's kind of overwhelmed, but she's missing her children. Though they are physically there, she's still missing them because of technology. You know, they're on the iPad, the iPhone, the, all the other stuff, whatever it is, all the technology. And so they are there, but they are not present. So she's kind of missing that. 
Then the other twin that she plays is a more high society, you know, single woman. Um, she loves her job. She helps build uh, buildings and skyscrapers for developers. And she's like, I believe she's an architect. And she's just high society. She lives in, you know, this condo that is rich and beautiful and modern and she's living the single life and so she um her dad their dad brought them together and decided that hey listen your mom passed away and you made a promise to her that you know you guys would get together so he brought them together and they made that they sat down together at lunch or dinner brunch whatever it was and they came together and just decided that hey listen let's do a switch so, I'm not going to tell you the entire movie, but um, I want you guys to go ahead and watch that movie. But it just was such a wholesome Christmas movie, and I absolutely love it. And throughout the movie, there's so many twists and so many turns. Um, but if you guys go ahead to uh, watch that, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, my second movie is A Christmas Detour, also starring Candace Cameron Bure. <laughs> Christmas Detour is such a cute movie. It's about um, Candace's character. She is this, um, she writes for a magazine, a bridal magazine, and everything is so like paper, like she makes lists and she writes things down and she plans out her future and basically she's engaged to this guy whose family is like extremely rich. They live in Long Island and they are like high sedity you know high sedity type of people and she is making the trip to new york to um you know go over the details with her fiance and her and his family so that they can plan the wedding together and in the midst of that there was like a snowstorm that got them trapped in in boston and she met these four people and they kind of started to develop like a friendship but one of the person this guy uh he they are like totally falling for each other so it's such a cute christmas movie and it really lends itself to like love and romance and she find she finds herself falling for this guy because it's like her her soulmate and she thought that the guy that she was was um, engaged to was her soulmate. But then she's quickly finding out that, geez, this dude really is like everything that I wanted. So go ahead and watch A Christmas Detour. I love that movie. The other movie is Finding Santa. This uh, movie stars Jodi Sweetin. And she plays a character that is more mellow from her Full House character. <laughs> um, she, her parents passed away and sort of passed her down a Christmas store. And her dream is to always make the town that she lives in feels like Christmas. And this family that um, the father plays Santa Claus all, all year, every year. Um, so the father is now getting older. He's, you know, he's kind of having to take a back seat. And his son now is like in the role of taking over the business. However, his son does not want to play Santa. He does not want to do that. He wants to follow his dreams and and do what he wants to do. And so, Jodie Sweetin's character sort of tries to coerce him into playing Santa because it it's what the town does. It, the father plays Santa and they help the town to be this Christmassy, happy, jolly, and you know, town and passing out presents to all the kids and all those things so to make a long story short they met and they fell in love and the rest is history the fourth one is one starry christmas i absolutely love this movie i think i've only seen this movie maybe two times and i love it so much it's so romantic it's it's such a um like, the, the character is, is so, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so under the radar. Like, they, you know, 
they counted out this character basically because of you know what he represents I guess a cowboy um and so this character she loved science and she wanted to be an astronomer um and so she got this grant from her professor to you know open like an astronomy center or something like that and um she had a fiance and he's like this big town um real estate mogul in new york city right and so he is more tied up with him making money and making the deal and you know rather than celebrating a small town christmas and so she wanted to go and and um celebrate christmas and she wanted to be with her family and so he decided that he was going to be in new york and he wasn't going to be able to celebrate with her so she then decided okay well you know what since he's not going to be here i'm going to make it to new york and i'm going to surprise him so she makes the trip on a bus to surprise her fiance however she met this guy on the bus the bus broke down and this guy's a cowboy but he is the sweetest guy and it just so happened that it was her dream guy as well and they met on the bus and they started talking and you know she called her fiance and let her know that the bus broke down and he's just like well what are you doing here and she's like i came to surprise you <laughs> and it just unraveled from there but she started to fall for this guy this cowboy and he was so sweet and such a hopeless romantic and you know he liked long walks on the beach and he loved to tell stories and her family absolutely loved him and so she fell in love with this guy and the rest is history um, another one of my favorite movie is Snow Bride Snow Bride is such a funny movie to me because everything that could happen to this character did happen to this character she worked for a magazine and she was trying to uh find out about this family called the tenenbaums and the tenenbaums they are like this historical uh political family and the father was in politics and so the sons are in politics and um they're so famous and they tried to stay under the radar and so she found out that they were going to be in town um, for you know the Christmas holiday and so she decided to grab her best friend's wedding dress who was supposed to get married a week after um, and she grabbed her best friend's wedding dress and she drove up to the town that the ten of bounds are supposed to be at and she got lost her car ran out of gas and so she got basically trapped in this snowy town and it just so happened that one of the Tenenbaums, who's the guy, he found her because she basically got lost at his cottage <laughs> and um, he took her in, you know, her wet, the wedding dress was just a mess and he took her in and he cleaned her up and he, you know, got her all warm and everything like that and basically what happened is he took her to his family's big house and um, introduced her to his family as his girlfriend because now his ex-girlfriend who was now with his brother was coming to Christmas <laughs> so it was sort of like him trying to it was sort of like him trying to put off that this girl who is the magazine editor put her off as his girlfriend so that he can make his ex-girlfriend jealous. So, Snow Bride. If you guys have not seen that movie, you're going to want to see it. It is the cutest, funniest movie. A lot of twists, a lot of turns in that movie. Let me see. The next one is A Christmas List. So, with this movie, she, she is the girlfriend of this very successful uh, fashion designer and um, she has her own designs and, and everything but for some reason her designs don't make the cut and she works for her boyfriend he has like this major huge fashion empire and you know employees and all these things and she um, she basically 
uh, from a little girl, she made a list because her mom was like a perfectionist when it came to Christmas. She had, <laughs> she had the white faux tree and everything had to be perfect and you know, the pillows had to be set a, a special way and the ornaments couldn't be touched on the tree. And so she's always from a little girl wanted like uh, just a, a rich traditional Christmas and she wanted the real Christmas tree with the popcorn uh, garlands and you know going ice skating and making gingerbread houses and so as she got older she sort of forgot about the list and so her boyfriend decided um, that he had to take a trip somewhere else I believe it was Aspen because he had to go and close on a deal and so she was just like well I'm not gonna go with you um, she rented out a cabin for them both of them to go away for the Christmas holiday and he kind of wanted to go somewhere warm and she wanted to go somewhere cold and so he said that he was going to meet her after the deal so she went to the cabin by herself and it was in this cute small Christmas town and she went to the cabin and she found her Christmas list and um, on this Christmas list was like a bunch of things that um, she had written on the list when she was a little girl and so she decided hey this is like a Christmas bucket list I'm going to make sure that all these things happen before I get back to the real world right <laughs> so she started to do everything on this list but in the midst of that she met this guy who's a firefighter and he is the sweetest guy and he loves his family and he loves Christmas and he loves his town and he started to help her to, you know, cross off all these things that's on her Christmas list. So it's such a cute movie. It's a fun movie. It's a very Christmassy movie. And it kind of makes you want to do those things that she had on her bucket list as well. You know, it, it embodies everything that Christmas is all about. The hot chocolate, the lighting of the tree, the gingerbread man, the, the ice skating, you know, all those things. So... A Christmas List is a very fun family oriented movie and I absolutely love it. I'm sorry I sound a little nasally because I am. <laughs> the next movie is another Candace Cameron Bure uh, flick and it's Let It Snow. I love this movie because she is like this high powered successful uh, young woman who works for her father's company and um, you know, she wears red bottoms and Gucci suits and oh, everything, right? And so she sort of forgot the real and true meaning of what Christmas is because her mom passed away. And ever since her mom passed away, her dad has kind of been just dedicated to his work and they really don't spend time together. He goes to Aspen for Christmas and she goes to the Bahamas for Christmas every year. And so this Christmas, he closed on a deal on this beautiful Christmas lodge um, where it's like a resort and the owners were getting young uh, getting older and they were retiring they wanted to pass it down to their sons but they their sons didn't want it and so uh, Candace Cameron Bure's character her father um, purchased the resort and he was going to break it down and turn it into like this modern you know summer uh summer lodge and winter lodge where millennials can come and singles can come and you know and just have a good time um and forget the true meaning of what christmas really is all about so he sent her basically to this resort to um basically do some research on it you know to see what their demographics are to see how many people um they take in every single season and things like that so when she got to this resort everything changed because she started to fall in love with the resort she started to fall in love with Christmas again she started to fall in love with the little traditions that reminded her of her past and the thing that her father sent her to do she completely switched like she fell in love with this guy she fell in love with the family and it just basically turned haywire so go ahead and check out that movie let it snow another movie is as you can see I love Candace Cameron Bure and all of her movies I'm yes in love with 
So this next movie is Christmas Under Wraps. And this is number eight. <laughs> Christmas Under Wraps. So Christmas Under Wraps is her character. She is a doctor and she has to do residence, but she only signed up for one residence. And the residence that she signed up for was the residence that her father went to. So she thought that because her father went to this residence that she would just automatically get to um, be a part of this residence. However, she's a person that plans everything. So she plans out her future, she plans out her present, she plans out everything. And so she was with this guy and she thought that the guy was going to propose to her so that they could go to Boston together and get married and live happily ever after. So it didn't happen that way. So he decided to invite her to dinner and crush her dreams, right? <laughs> she planned out her future, their future, and he wasn't a fan. So he basically dumped her. She thought he was going to propose to her and it completely changed like her, her entire night. Um, so she, after dinner, she went to her parents' house and then her father told her that the residence that she signed up for, she didn't get the residence. So now she has to go and research and look for other, other residency to, to be a part of. So um, it just started like a spiral of bad moments for her for the entire night. So basically her mother left her a message and said to her, um, her mother was there, but her mother was talking to her and said to her, hey, listen, don't plan everything out, you know, leave some things to chance and, and, and just enjoy the moment, smell the roses, right? So she said that's what her fiance, ex-fiance had told her. So anyway, she went to this career office and was looking for a residency and it just, just so happened that there was this one residency that was open and it was in Garland, Alaska. So she packed up after she was accepted as the doctor. She packed up and she went to Garland, Alaska. Now Garland, Alaska is supposed to, well Garland is supposed to be adjacent, right, to I guess some other town in Alaska, but it wasn't. So she had to, she met this guy and the guy flew her into Garland and Garland just happened to be the cutest, smallest, little winter town, um, all decorated for Christmas and everybody is cheery and everybody is happy but they did not have a doctor. So it's like, you know, it's like those that little town where there's one doctor, one dentist, one plumber, one electrician, or one person doing all of that. So that's what it was. Um, but in this town, it was like a special place, and it was a shipping place, but it was really Santa's workshop, <laughs> right? It was really Santa's workshop, because Alaska, North Pole, right? So she got there and it turned out that the people in the town, they were out of a doctor for like an entire year. And she had all these patients that she had to, to tend to. And she started to fall in love with the place, but things started to unravel because she started to see elves. She started to, um, you know, this guy that looks like Santa Claus. It just was, everything was just started to unravel, but at the end she fell in love with this place and she fell in love with this guy and um, decided that she wanted to stay in Garland. So, go watch Christmas Under Wraps. Number nine is, I gotta say, this is the movie that I have watched a million times. Love this movie. And I'm going to watch it again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most wonderful time of the year. I don't know why I love this movie so much, but I just do. It's so, it's such a beautiful storyline and it really is, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like it really is the most wonderful time of the year. And so this character plays, she's a single mom to this wonderful little boy and, um, she doesn't do Christmas well. <laughs> she she gets overwhelmed and she doesn't do Christmas very well. She analyzes toy companies for a living. And so her son wanted this one toy um, and it was like a bike he wanted for Christmas. It, it was like the one thing that he wanted for Christmas. And it was sold out. And so her uncle um, who raised her, he lived in, um, I believe he lived in Chicago. And so he was coming to visit and he, um, 
he normally would buy like all the toys for the little boy and everything like that and so he was coming to visit her and she, he was in the airport and he couldn't find where he was going and so he met this guy uh, who basically travels for a living but he has no home address no where to stay no where to live and so he travels for a living and he met the uncle in the airport and they hit it off right so she went to the airport to meet her uncle and this guy and her uncle's basically like hey listen can we take the stranger in he's a good guy I smelled him I know he's a good guy <laughs> that was one of the lines by the way from the movie um, I know he's a good guy can he just stay with us for a night his um, flight is canceled I don't want him sleeping on the airport floor can we take him in so with, she fought him a little bit but eventually she said yes because she doesn't know how to cook a turkey he knows how to cook because he's a chef and her fiance's family was coming to Thanksgiving so not to Thanksgiving to Christmas and she had to make like this turkey she didn't know how to cook this turkey she was stressed out because she couldn't cook a turkey and she wanted to impress her in-laws who did not like her anyway so it's a crazy movie but throughout the movie um, she fell in she was falling for this guy the straggler in the airport she was falling for him because he embodies all the traditional things that she um, loved as a kid and how he really fell for her her son and he you know pretended like he was Santa so her son would believe that Santa really is um, you know really does exist um, he took the little boy out to get a tree and you know all these things all while she was engaged to this guy who was such a jerk who was like high sedity owned a jewelry store with his family and only cared about numbers so it's such a fun movie you guys have to go and watch this movie the most wonderful time of the year it is a phenomenal Christmas movie I guarantee you you will love it so number 10 is A Christmas Melody. A Christmas Melody stars Mariah Carey and Lacey Chabert. Also one of my favorite, favorite person, Lacey Chabert. I absolutely love Lacey Chabert. Um, so A Christmas Melody, in this movie, uh, Lacey Chabert, she basically is a single mom. Touche. She's a single mom who owns a fashion design store. She makes her own clothing, her own store, um, her own fashion designing and everything like that. But she had to close down the shop because it really wasn't making, it wasn't really doing too well. And so she packed her daughter up from California and moved all the way back to her hometown. Um, she was, you know, she stayed with her aunt and she had to try to do life over and make it better for her and her daughter right so her daughter started at this new school and at this new school um, she found her old time high school friends and one of them just had to happen to be Mariah Carey and her character was like this snobby high sedity you know um, I guess soccer mom but you know she was like a stay-at-home mom and she she was the president of the PTA and the PTO and very like, you know, those type of moms <laughs> who is in charge of everything in the school, right? So this was Mariah Carey's character and she was in charge of like the Christmas play and the Christmas program. And so Lacey Chabert's character is now coming into the school with her daughter and she's just like, oh, well, maybe I could be a because I sew and I do, you know, costumes and I make clothing and things like that and so there was this guy that um, plays the piano and basically his kid was a part of the play as well but it was like an old time friend and they met and they rekindled all their you know past love and everything like that and to make a long story short they fell in love again and the Christmas play was a disaster, but Lacey Chabert saved the Christmas play because they needed costumes. And um, Mariah Carey's character was trying to upstage her. And so it's just such a beautiful storyline. And I know that you guys are going to love it. So 
to make this video not so long I'm kind of just gonna be going through some of them I'm not gonna be telling you um, I'm just gonna give you the titles of the movies and you, you know just go ahead and and watch them for yourself and then you'll see what I'm talking about so number 11 is the sweetest Christmas number 12 is I the ice what is it? The Ice Sculpture Christmas. Number 13 is The Mistletoe Promise. Oh my goodness, that is such a cute movie. Gotta see that. Number 14 is The December Bride. That also was a cute movie. I love that movie. Such a beautiful movie. Um, this one, number 15, is actually a new movie that premiered this year, 2018, and it's Christmas at Pemberley Manor. This was a fun, fun movie. It basically brings you back to the real meaning of Christmas and um, the characters are awesome they are so um, they're such happy characters I love Hallmark Christmas movies because their characters are always happy even though they face like life issues they do it with grace you know and so I just love it so Christmas at Pemberley Manor that premiered this year um, Christmas Incorporated is number 16 a Wish for Christmas, which also stars Lacey Chabert, which I love that movie. Um, Matchmaker Santa, which also stars Lacey Chabert. <laughs> um, a Christmas Next Door, that was a fun movie. And Every Christmas Has a Story. So I'm going to give you a bonus Christmas movie, and it's Marrying Father Christmas. This is like the third um, installment of Father Christmas. I love, 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 love this movie. This one actually premiered 2018 as well, Marrying Father Christmas. And you have to go and see. I think you should start from uh, the first movie and then the second movie if you have not seen it. And then you kind of will get the installment of the third movie. Um, it's a character that her mom was like this big time showbiz uh, person who did stage performances and everything like that and her when she was a little girl and her mom passed away and um, it was so sudden because she passed away while doing a play on the stage and so fast forward years and years and years um, she becomes like this uh, single working class woman who um, don't really deal with Christmas because her mom passed away around Christmas so she doesn't really do Christmas right and so this guy this older guy called her and you know found her number and told her hey listen I have a package from you know suitcase that your mom had um, and you might want to get the things that are inside of it so she went to go get the suitcase from this guy and it was in the theater that her mom performed when she was a little girl. So all these memories are now rushing back to her, right? And so she got the suitcase, she went home, she looked through it, and all these memories, all these things that are in the suitcase. So this one picture she found striked her, um, you know, and she wanted to find out about the person in the picture. It was a little boy sitting on Santa. So she wanted to find out who this little boy was. Um, so she made the trip to this small town where the picture was taken and things just started to unravel in this small town about who her father was, um, you know, who her father's family was and who the little boy actually was and all these things just started to unravel, right? And even in the midst of that, she fell in love with this guy and um, during the second installment, that was the first installment, the second installment, they fell in love basically and he engaged. They, he proposed to her and that second installment was called Engaging Father Christmas and she got to know her father's um, family, her father's widow, not her widow, her father's wife, um, who her father passed away years ago so she never got to meet him but he was like this big time theater guy who perform plays and all these things, right? And there was a theater that was named after him and in the small town. And um, she had to basically make a, make a vow that nobody can find out that this was her father because then they would find out who the family is and they wanted to stay under the radar. So 
Um, she got to know this family and all everything unraveled. And I try not to give away too much of the movie, but in the third installment, Mary and Father Christmas, she um, they were planning the wedding and and everything, and all other things started to unravel during this time. And she was trying to figure out, well, I want to get married at the small cottage, but then her father's family wanted to do it on a bigger scale. Um, and she kind of just wanted to do a small time town wedding type thing. Um, and so it just, it's such a fun movie, but you have to see it from the first installment. Um, in three installments, you have to see from the first installment so you can kind of understand the timeline of the movie and what the movie is really about. So fun, 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 fun movie. I'm enjoying Hallmark Christmas um, movies. I enjoy it every single year and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. If you are a Hallmark Christmas movie watcher, I mean I watch Hallmark movies all year round anyway, but Christmas is just a special time um, for me and my family and we sit and we watch Hallmark and I think even my husband has started to get into it a little bit, not completely all the way, but he <laughs> he started to get into it just a little bit because even sometimes we're laying together and uh, we're watching a movie and he'll be like, you know babe, this is actually, it's not a bad movie, it's actually a nice movie. So um, that is the end of my Hallmark Christmas movies that I am loving. That was 20 of my favorite Christmas Hallmark movies. Um, if you guys like any of the movies, please leave a comment down below. You guys know that I love interacting with you. You know, I love talking with you about movies, about any topic, about anything related to Christmas or life in general. Um, so give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for Christmas. Also give this video a thumbs up you guys if you are decorating for Christmas already, if you started doing any of your decorating or Christmas festivities or have a bucket list for Christmas that you and your family are planning on enjoying, um, give this video a thumbs up if you are doing that. Also don't forget to share, share, share um, this video or my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me. It helps my channel every time you guys give it a thumbs up, every time you guys make a comment, every time you guys um, share the movie and even subscribe. It really helps my channel. Um, and I am just absolutely grateful to you guys. You are my family. You're not just a YouTube commu com community. You are my family. And I absolutely love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And I just thank you guys so much for all of your wonderful encouragements, for all of your support, for all of your comments. And, you know, I just, we have the sweetest, sweetest family here on YouTube. I truly believe that. Um, I just, I love you guys. It's like, 100% positivity and I am super super grateful for all of you that take the time out of your day to spend with me and to spend with my family. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. Also hit that bell so that you will be notified for new videos that are coming up throughout the Christmas holiday and I am trying to get a video up for you guys every day so far I've been doing pretty good so I'm trying to keep it going um, yeah so make sure you subscribe so that you will be notified and hit that bell as well also when you hit the bell um, press that you want all notifications not just some notifications because then YouTube kind of gets into this algorithm where it sends you notifications once in a while instead of sending it to you all the time so make sure you check that box that says you want all notifications from this channel um, and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching again I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas season Merry Christmas don't forget that Jesus loves you I love you and I will see you guys in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching bye